here in Rolling Fort, Mississippi. Kind of tell us what you went through last night. Well, last night around about between 7.30 or 8 o'clock, I heard the list on my phone saying that uh, a tornado was headed towards Rolling Fort. So I got up and run to the back and I stopped by my first bedroom. But I left there and decided to go to my back bedroom. By the time I got to my back bedroom, I ran and got three pillars and I jumped in my shower. And lo and behold, whole house coming down, debris, rain was everything. And I didn't know it was that gonna be my last time. But I thank God that he gave me another chance in life. And this is, your, this is your house right here behind us? Right, this is my house right behind us. This is completely destroyed? Completely destroyed. Uh, what's it like going through that when what's the sounds like the, the sights like the feel all I can hear just pick popping you know just everything just coming through the tree just it came through the house all that came through the house and I was just you know didn't know how bad it was I was trapped in the bedroom about in my bedroom about 30 minutes and then I helped someone was hollering and I was hollering back and I flashed my flashlight and a gentleman came and helped me. He said he was down visiting his peoples for three days. And uh, end up, he had to end up helping me get out. I couldn't get out of my bathroom one of them. And I had to move a lot of debris to get out the front of the house. And this, I didn't imagine what I did see when I did get out. But thank God and my neighbors, they didn't make it. The neighbors over here on this side? Right, they didn't make it. They both died. That's the one with the, the semi trucks on top of the house. Yes. What was it like taking your first steps out? It was just, I was just glad just to get out. Didn't imagine, like I say, what I was gonna see when I did get out. And I just walked down the street, and I was trying to check on my neighbor across the street from me. And some more guys coming, I'll tell them check on her. So we went on down further down the street back north. To the other uh, friend down the street, we ended up, their house didn't get too much damage. Everybody was on their car porch. So. I see, it looks like you're a tight-knit community here. I see you talking to a bunch of other neighbors. What's this like? What, what What's next? You know, it's just keeping faith in God, you know. We thank God, you know, for letting us see another day. It gave us another chance. I've been hearing around a lot of calls that a lot of people didn't make it, you know. And at that moment of time, you know, you know, you just don't know. You know, when something happened in a matter of seconds, you just don't know. But I know God had his hand on me because I'm still here. And I give him all the praise for that. Like my neighbor right here, her and her little child, they still here. And on the fatality we have here was just our next day neighbor just beside me. And as you see, all this stuff is over here.